Hey, what's up everybody? We're back today with the Trespasser DLC and we're tracking down all of the expensive dog treats that you can find out at the Winter Palace out in Orlay. First stop brings us to the vendor you find right here inside the Winter Palace. Here's the main plaza. Here's kind of where you started things. And if you head down towards the vendor over here on the left inside, you will find your little map icon flashing. Go ahead and search around a bit and... Over here on the wall near these herbs, you will find the bone on the bottom shelf. So go ahead and loot that. Make sure you jump first. That's important. You know how that goes. Grab that. You got your first expensive dog treat. We'll be back with number two in just a moment. All right. Number two takes us just to the left of the vendor. Right here where I'm standing now, you are going to see a big cart and some barrels. On this barrel behind me is another dog treat. So go ahead and search around. Grab that. And we'll be back with number three in just a moment. All right, number three. So here is the vendor that we were at where we found number one. All the way down here on this little balcony, you will find a dog treat hidden in a flower pot. Go ahead and search around, and you'll have number three. Grab that, and we'll be back with number four in just a moment. All right, next one is going to be located. This is where we found our last one. You're going to want to head up in this direction, up these stairs, through this little alcove, and over here into this large green area towards the top left portion of the map and it's going to be hidden right next to a bush so come up here search around a bit and you'll find it on the ground here right next to this bush that's the next one we'll be back with our next one in just a moment alright number five brings us into the central courtyard right here this is just to the right of the vendor where we found the very first one it's over here sitting on this bench. Go ahead and search around. It should pop up for you. Grab that. You've got number five, and we'll be back with number six in just a moment. All right, number six brings us to the eastern courtyard. Here's where we are. Here is where we found number five. So we just headed straight up through here, up past the fountains, and then straight up to this little walled-off area. And sitting up on this bench or love seat, you will find your next expensive dog treat. So we'll be back with the next one in just a moment. All right, number seven is fairly close by to number six. Here's where we found number six, sitting on this love seat here. We're going to swing down in this direction, and we're going to find another one just next to one of the chairs out here. Go ahead and grab this. This gives us number seven, and we'll be back with number eight in just a moment. All right, on to number eight. In order to find number eight, you actually need to get up to the second level of the eastern courtyard so what you want to do is come up these stairs up these stairs and then walk across this little bridge hang a left and you're gonna find this one sticking out of a flower pot right here go ahead and grab that you've got number eight and we'll be back, back with number nine in just a moment all right so for bone number nine you want to head back to the main courtyard now that we've cleaned up everything on the bottom level here and when you get up past the stairs you want to head up to the right, walk up these stairs, and you're going to make yourself your way along this balcony. Once you get up to the top, you're going to find the bone hidden in a little flower pot here. Go ahead and grab that. You've got number nine. We'll be back with number ten in just a moment. All right, so for our tenth and final dog treat, we are going to head back to the main courtyard. So we were just up here grabbing number nine. We wound back up down these stairs across the way and found ourselves on the opposite side but on the lower level so instead of going up the stairs we went underneath the stairs and we found this door now if you open the door head inside go all the way to the back in this back room on the right hand side you are going to find number 10 go ahead and grab that now you have all 10 of your expensive dog treats and we'll be back in just a moment to show you what to do with them all right, now that we have all 10 of our expensive dog treats, it's time to, well, do something with them. And what you want to do with them is come all the way down to the eastern courtyard where Cullen is. Here's Cullen. Here is where we were when we picked up number 10. So we just headed down the stairs over to the eastern courtyard. And there's this little basket on the ground. So we're going to place them in the basket. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine and ten and our 
faithful Mabari Hound is going to run off and bring us back a bit of a present. You can hear the commotion in the background. And on the ground, we're going to find a bit of loot, so let's go ahead and grab that. And we will find the cudgel of the gold and ebon queen. This is a unique mace. You can see the stats on it there. Please note that the DPS does vary just a bit. I've seen it at 220, obviously 222, 223. So if you want to uh, do a little save game scumming there and save before you turn those in to see if you can get a little bit better of a mace, that may not be the worst idea in the world if this is a weapon you're going to use. But that is it for our expensive dog treats and the reward for turning those in. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.